People keep asking me, why don't you make a film about classic cars? Well, the guys who own classic cars are all really, really, really boring. Aren't they? So what's the actual history of the racing tea? Well, it started off life in um, the Ford factory in 1926. Um, it ship, got shipped over to California, where it fell into the hands of a racer who started sort of changing it. Um, and the guy that did most of the work was a chap called Vic Sala, who has been in, inducted into the Californian um, Model T Ford Hall of Fame um, because he raced. This is number 16 from his chain of racers and um, they were getting hotter and hotter as he built them. And this one uh, gradually grew um, into having um, various what they call modern parts. Um, the traditional Model T having an awful epicyclic gearbox with the weirdest foot pedals in the world. Um, to race, he changed it to a 1937 uh, Chevy three-speed box um, with a turbo 400 clutch unit to make it drive like a real car. Uh, he shortened the frame to make it handle better and uh, remarkably put brakes on the back wheels um, because Model T's only brake on the gearbox normally. But he put 1920, sorry, 1937 uh, Ford brakes and, which were then converted to hydraulic. So you can stop the back wheels going around beautifully. It doesn't necessarily stop the car going along, but the wheels don't go around um, because as is traditional from Model T, it has no front brakes. Um, but with the modifications that went into it, it is slightly better at performance than a standard T. So top end of a standard T is around about 40 mile an hour. This one tops out at about 90, 95, um, which without front brakes, you have to think about. Um, not too hard. Um, let the passenger do all the thinking and the worrying. Uh, of course, that's going to be you. So, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you all have safety gear. You'll have a nice soft leather flying helmet and goggles. Um, you don't need anything else, I'm sure. Um, the guy that was the, ra the, the, the mechanic that would ride in it at Indianapolis and some of the other circuits it ran on, um, they survived. Well, most of them did anyway. So, yeah, you'll be fine. Um, as a passenger, you don't just sit there enjoying the view. You have to work because the fuel tank um, doesn't have. Uh, a mechanical or an electric pump. It has a pressure feed system. So your job is to keep an eye on the, the dashboard. There's a pressure gauge on there. When it drops down to, to below two pounds, you have to pump. So you have to keep the fuel pressure up in the tank or the engine will stop. Um, so I'm going to be earning my ride? You definitely will be, yes. Yeah. Look forward to it. Yep. Well, but, I guess we should go and take a look at the old girl. Absolutely, yep. Let's do it. in for a better fit. <laughs> Another local crazy as well. I will point him out. He has a complete museum. Being an 
1930s gearbox, there's quite a gap between the ratios. So once you're in third, in top gear, you can do anything from about 20 to 90. Quite talky. That was the secret of the uh, Model T, the talk. Whoa, that's the mechanic's job. Gotta keep the pumping going. And of course they <laughs> back in their day. Yeah. tracks on uh, brick, board and cinders, but it was also used in hill climbs. I'm not sure if the cinder tracks were smoother than English roads. We used to drive on the left, now we drive on what's left. a good day in this car when you count the number of green fly in your teeth when you get home. <laughs> you need to fill a little toothpick holder to the dashboard. <laughs> yeah, measured in smiles. Sold it. Oh, why wouldn't you? It may not be the fastest car in the world, but it has that feeling. <laughs> you just can't help thrilling, can you? Absolutely. <laughs> it just puts a smile on the face of everyone who sees it. Yep, it does. Um, Good turn right please. Thank you. And even the traffic lights like us. There you go, that was pulling away in third gear. Need some more pumping? I think we're running out of gas actually. about who's going to inherit. Yeah, I think there's going to be a shared custody agreement when you go. <laughs> Interestingly enough, 
Um, only one of them drives. Well, that's what makes life a little easier, shouldn't it? Ah. Is that not the way things are? The lower the fuel level, the more you have to pump, unfortunately. economy and this thing will get if you're gentle which I never am uh, about 15 to the gallon and when you're not gentle near a 10 yeah yeah and how big is the tank the tank is around about five gallons and um, I have to use the official Ford uh, petrol gauge which of course is a dipstick. <laughs> Woo -hoo! great man once said, growing old is mandatory but growing up is optional. So face it, if you're going to get old, do it disgracefully. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 